Five years ago, the Ford Foundation took a billion dollars from its endowment and started on a mission to make investments that address big social issues, while at the same time earning a good return. At the five-year mark, the initiative is reporting a compound annual return rate of 28 percent. I think most people would be more than happy with that. And the foundation saying its portfolio has generated measurable social impact. For more on the results, I want to bring in Darren Walker. He's the president of the Ford Foundation. Darren, it's great to see you this morning. Should say you are a former corporate lawyer, also a banker, bond trader. So I think of you as a as much a professional investor as just about anything else. Let's talk about ESG because right now it feels like ESG is in the crosshairs. You were sort of at the the early edge of it here, uh, putting this money to work to try to show that it could work. And yet we're now in this sort of remarkable political moment where there seems to be a backlash against it. Well, that's really unfortunate, uh, Andrew. Because this is good for the markets. This is good for our country. This is good for investors. So let's look at the Ford Foundation's portfolio in three primary asset classes. In affordable housing, we invested in fund managers who created or preserved over 23,000 units of housing for low to moderate income Americans. We invested in 15 uh, fintech companies that are serving the global south, the developing world. We invested in uh, uh, health companies that served over 76 million consumers around the globe and diagnostics, therapeutics, uh, in vaccine development. Uh, so it is possible, we believe, to do both uh, an investment that provides both uh, a financial return and a social return. I agree, Andrew, it's a shame that uh, this backlash is, is occurring. It's unfortunate. I, I fear it's ideological and not based on data and facts. Um, and it's this is market driven. Uh, this comes out of consumers, clients. Every firm on Wall Street is creating ESG funds, not because they're being browbeaten by activists, but because customers, clients are saying, we want to buy these products. We want to buy products. We want to invest in ways that do as little harm or no harm to the planet as we can. So what do you think when you see somebody like Elon Musk, who's built Tesla, um, by the way, on the back of the argument around uh, the climate, of course, now calling ESG a scam? I think it's unfortunate. And hopefully uh, Tesla will stand as a company that is both an investment uh, in the planet and an investment that uh, returns you a good uh, financial yield. Um, I, I really don't, to me, this is less about the personalities who are uh, uh, fanning uh, the flames here and more about let's look at the data, let's look at the numbers, let's look at the social impact, uh, and then we'll question what we can make the assessment. Uh, in terms of the investments that have worked thus far, and frankly, maybe some of the investments that haven't, what have been the lessons in terms of the metrics you used to make those investments? and what the results turned out to be? Well, we need to invest in the areas that make a difference in the lives of people in this country and the world. So housing, for example, health care, uh, education, uh, workforce, uh, and, and the American worker, these are all investments that are rock solid, that get you both uh, a strong ROI and get you uh, a social return. So let's look at the things that matter in this country that give people uh, an opportunity to get on the mobility escalator. Uh, and if we invest in those things, we will get both a financial return and a social right. return.